good morning and thank you for joining me for our time of morning prayer on Thursday from the Church of St Mary's here in Sanderstead. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 56. Be gracious to me, O God, for people trample on me all day, foes oppress me. My enemies trample on me all day long, for many fight against me. O Most High, when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I am not afraid, for what can flesh do to me? All day long they seek to injure my cause, all their thoughts are against me for evil. They stir up strife. They lurk, they watch my steps. As they hoped to have my life, so repay them for their crime. In wrath cast down the peoples, O God. You have kept count of my tears, and they have been put in your bottle. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will retreat on the day when I call. This I know, that God is for me. In God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust, I am not afraid. What can a mere mortal do to me? My vows to you I must perform, O God. I will render thank offerings to you. For you have delivered my soul from death and my feet from falling, so that I may walk before God in the light of life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I'm going to use for our canticle today the Magnificat, or the Song of Mary, as it is called. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading today is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 2, 
beginning at verse 37. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. And they said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptised, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls. And he testified with many other arguments, and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptised, and that day about 3,000 persons were added to their number. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of the bread and the prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many signs and wonders were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. So we say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. And this was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And so let us pray. Father, this day we pray for all Christians throughout the world, that each one of us may be a true servant of Christ, faithfully following his teachings. Lord, renew your peace in our hearts and give us the courage of faith in our daily life. Free us from all prejudice and fear and deepen our understanding and our love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we ask that those in authority would work to establish justice and freedom throughout the world. And we pray especially for our own country here in England. We also remember, Lord, the country of the Lebanon at this difficult time. Show us, Father, the way to bring your compassion to the poor, to the sick, the lonely, and those who feel unloved. And remembering those who are unwell here at St Mary's, we pray especially for Kim Brown and for Alison Brewster. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer.
Father, we ask that you would forgive those who hurt us or who distort our best intentions. Forgive us also and remedy our acts of injustice. Console those who are bereaved or in sorrow. And we pray especially today for Angela, who grieves the loss of her mother, Phyllis. God, our Father, you care for us and you know all our needs. May this day we find rest in your great love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your church, open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Thanks be to God. Just a reminder that at noon today we will be having a service of Holy Communion here at St Mary's and so I hope that you will be able to join us. May God bless you as you do all the things that thrill your heart this day.